Birmingham, England provided the setting for Bama 14, which was live right here on Fight Network, where the main event saw the promotional return of Paul Semtex Daly, who squared off with Brazilian veteran Romero Jr. killer Manuel Da Silva. Daly went straight to work with a very stiff low kick strategy that had Da Silva's lead leg changing color before the end of the opening round. Da Silva had a strong counter punching game, but Daly is absolutely vicious when he finds his range. They don't call him Semtex for nothing, and he detonated early in the second. But it's like that old cliche of the. Oh! Daly throws his name into the knockout of the year discussion with that devastating left hook. He gets back into the win column after losing a decision only five weeks earlier. The co-main event had the Bama World Lightweight title on the line as 21-year-old champion Mansoor Tarzan Barnawi was looking for his first title defense as he took on former Ultimate Fighter competitor Colin Freakshow Fletcher, who sports one hell of an entrance. They got straight to trading where Barnawi scored a knockdown in the opening seconds. He had Fletcher reeling, but the freak show wasn't ready to quit. You worry for him here, he's standing and trading and listen to the crowd. There it is! Oh there my is. god, there. there it is! Frank, he turned it around and suddenly that sword cracks. Unbelievable! It was only a brief shift in momentum though as Barnawi scrambled to Fletcher's back and trapped his arm with a body triangle, leading to the airtight rear naked choke submission. Barnawi scores his first title defense with the very impressive tap out and improves his young record to 11-2. Fan favorite judo Jimmy Wallhead was also in action as he faced off with French veteran Florent Betterangel in a welterweight affair. It was the Frenchman who got the better of the exchanges early on before Wallhead had had enough and powered the fight to the mat. Judo Jim was happy to grind him out from top position for the better part of the second and he looked to do more of the same to start the third. He's, I love when he does this. He uses his great takedown. Oh, and oh, knocked him out. He knocked him out. Oh, my God. What a great takedown. He threw a hit on his head and knocked him unconscious. Wallhead wasn't exactly trying to knock him out with the takedown attempt, but he puts better angles lights out nonetheless. The veteran Englishman scores his 25th career victory along with his eighth knockout.